have seen an absurd statement being attributed to the police spokesperson in relation to the ongoing Bank of Uganda inquiries. I call it absurd because we don't know where he got his information from that they are investigating extra printed cash. I want to clarify but also disabuse Mr. Fred Enanga's statement. The ongoing investigations has got nothing whatsoever to do with extra printed money that purportedly was dumped in our economy. Absolutely not. The investigations relate to extra cargo. That is in protocol is an anomaly when the Bank of Uganda charters, or anybody charters a freight. May I just repeat what I said last week on Friday, that the airway bill, which is what details what was loaded, what was carried, what was delivered, and also what customs, what went through customs in Uganda indicate that there were extra items, by the extra items were items of 13 other clients who were not part of chartering the plane. So we are asking the police to make it good their statement, which implied that the government had earlier on told a lie. We take strong exception to that statement. To the BOU matter R, have clearly informed you that uh, it is uh, uh, just over the weekend that uh, our CID directorate took over this investigation. I know you, you are very much eager to uh, uh, pry into how the investigations are progressing. The little information I've given you is the available information as for now. But I believe that in due course we shall be furnished with details and with what charges are supposed to be preferred. Definitely the searches were conducted in the homes and uh, of course uh, there are a number of documents that were recovered uh, from, the, uh, from Bank of Uganda. This is purely a Bank of Uganda matter. Saying that Minister of Finance, I don't know, the, the Secretary should know it is a strictly straightforward Bank of Uganda uh, uh, inquiry. So. And that is where we are focused. That's why I'm telling you it's a very straightforward matter. So with time, we shall get uh, how much was involved, how much has been recovered, what was genuine, and what was the non-official but genuine. Uh, to make mistakes, especially to miscommunicate. And that's why I am standing before you to say that the government is not aware of where Mr. Fred Enanga picked his storyline. And knowing how sometimes the police communicates, it shouldn't surprise that false information has slipped through their tongue once again. Yes. And I've just said, we are asking the police to make it good. Just take it as that. We are making the police to make it good on their statement. Yep, yep. Said any department of government that miscommunicates matters that are factual will be called to order.
because it misleads the public. And in particular, this particular one can send unnecessary shock waves to our economy. Okay. Overall, the MPC assesses that the risks to the projected inflation path are roughly balanced. <clears throat> Based on this assessment, MPC has decided to maintain the CBR 10%. The band on the CBR will remain at plus or minus three percentage points, and the margin of on the rediscount rate will remain at four percentage points on the CBR. <laughs> Consequently, the rediscount rate and the bank rate have been set at 14% and 15% respectively. This is a monetary policy statement for June 2019.